in 1665 robert hooke who was an english scientist saw cells in a thin slice of a quark with his crude microscope and then he realized these components what are they and he named those compartments as cells so at first when he was observing the quark he was amazed to see that in the quark it showed honeycomb like structures and these honeycomb like structures were named as cellulae or cells by robert hooke his this discovery on cells his discovery indicated for the first time that living cells consisted of a number of cells they are small structures or unit and hence we call cell is a structural unit of life because it is nothing that is smaller than cell nothing that is smaller than cell which is independent or which is of independent existence okay things are components that are there inside the cells of course they are tinier than cells but then they do not possess this property of independent existence okay so cell is the only tiniest entity which is capable of independent existence now taking a look at the discovery of cell and the different history part okay who discovered what and how things were linked and we actually got to know this clear picture so we already know that um, robert hooke discovered was responsible for the discovery of cell in 1678 um anton von leeuwenhoek studied the living organisms for the first time the living cell he studied the living cell for the first time robert brown uh, he was responsible for the discovery of nucleus he for the first time named nucleus he saw he observed that there is something which is even tinier than a cell which is a nucleus now uh, later on maybe like in 1838 to 39 nine there were like uh, skelden and skawan they formulated the cell theory so just when discoveries were taking place people linking each and every evidence to one another they started thinking about the cell in more detail and skelden and skawan for the first time they formulated the cell theory again 1855 uh, rudolf virch stated omnis cellulae cellula okay what does that mean we will see that in detail in 1831 robert brown he was responsible for the discovery of nucleus he came across the information that even inside the cell there is something which controls the cell which we got to know about a little later but then he got to know that something is there inside the cell as well and that was called as nucleus so robert brown was responsible for the discovery of nucleus in the cell and he named that very thing that was inside the cell you know as nucleus in later on in 1838 uh, to 39 uh, skelden and skawan they formulated cell theory we'll be talking about cell theory also then in 1855 rudolf virch he started uh, this uh, you know he stated about cell omnis cellula cellulae right that every living organism is made up of cell